Um, nonetheless, Russia's own behavior in Africa is very colonialist. It is principally focused on getting resources out, um, such as uh, uh, precious minerals, gold, um, phosphates, and getting um, and undermining uh, the West. This is the journey to One Africa. Uh, the basic objective of Russian policy today is very much what was the basic objective of Soviet policy during the Cold War, which is to um, challenge and oppose the United States and the West. Uh, to the extent even that uh, Russia has uh, used Africa as a place to undermine the West, even on issues that should be of mutual interest, such as counterterrorism over the past 10 years. Now, during the Cold War and still today, Russia uh, characterizes its policy as anti-colonialism. Uh, during the Cold War, it explicitly embraced uh, anti-colonialist um, um, parties and, and movements. Uh, and today, it uh, amplifies the message that it still continues uh, to act as the anti-colonial power that's generating a lot of uh, resonance. Um, nonetheless, Russia's own behavior in Africa is very colonialist. It is principally focused on getting resources out, um, such as uh, uh, precious minerals, gold, um, phosphates, and getting um, and undermining uh, the West. Mm -hmm. So its its rhetoric is very inconsistent uh, with its actual behavior. Important difference here is the tools. Uh, some of which are the same uh, military cooperations, whether through private security companies or direct contracts. Uh, but also now we have uh, misinformation campaigns that Russia is aggressively engaged in in Africa. We have also witnessed uh, anti. West sentiments, in many cases in the Sahel region, anti-French sentiments, but at the same time you see the locals seemingly embracing Russia. Uh, now, to begin with, what is driving uh, these countries or this people, uh, this uh, you know, populations into the what you could say the open arms of uh, you, uh, of Russia? One is with security, which uh, despite uh, two decades of counterinsurgency, anti-jihadi efforts and struggles uh, with direct uh, or uh, military support um, from the West have often underdelivered. This is very much the case in West Africa, but it's also the case in a place like Somalia. And there is this popular sentiment across Africa that democracy, uh, often very uh, inadequate democracy, centering essentially on elections has not not brought economic development, uh, economic uh, inclusion and social mobility for vast segments uh, of people. Uh, and Russia is uh, taking those frustrations and, and manipulating them, amplifying them through its propaganda, uh, through its misinformation and disinformation campaign. So, um, you know, it is often difficult to gauge how much there is an actual pro-Russian sentiment and how much that is manipulated uh, by Russia, especially in authoritarian countries that are welcoming Russia as, as their um, uh, often only uh, ally uh, or, Ch or China. But uh, there is also a, a reality to the frustrations of local people overlapping with this seemingly new actor, Russia, and its proxies like the Wagner Group. Now, there are some who may see uh, uh, this um, Russia's growing influence in Africa as a kind of a geopolitical contest between uh, the Kremlin and the White House. Is that all about it, or is Africa just becoming very attractive to uh, all powers, east, west, north? Importantly, of course, uh, Africa is a significant source of important uh, minerals, and it is also uh, an expected significant uh, place of important economic opportunities with uh, growing consumer demand, uh, as well as uh, many uh, challenges on the economic front, energy transition, obviously. So uh, Russia's role in the economy in Africa is very weak. Its foreign direct investment is minimal. 
uh, its role is, present, uh, is essentially focused on military. But for China and the United States, the economic domains are very important focus of the countries, uh, of the two countries in Africa. And of course, there are other issues, democracy for the United States and the challenges that Africa has suffered in terms of coups. Um, environment, uh, climate change, um, wildlife trafficking, logging, all of those are important um, factors for U.S. policy in the region.